affidavit is on record to say that one Senator Wako, then a uh, Senator of Butsia, one Rafael Tuju, was the Secretary General of Azimio, and one uh, Chalon Bobo, an advocate, did go and attend to Bomas of Kenya and had a meeting. And discussions were done to the effect that uh, the commissioners or the commission was to moderate the results and, re and leave and declare Raila Odinga the winner. Of fundamental questions, as Azimio is asking, IEBC is a constitutional office that will not be given any directions from anybody. One Chebukati confirms that he was called and he allowed a meeting to proceed. One, a meeting of those three senior elders citizens and another meeting of members of the National Security Council. Nowhere in the IBC Act, nowhere in the Constitution, such improper contact is imagined. How did Chebukati agree to meet Tuju? What were the arrangements if ever those three people attended there? What was the consideration on the part of the IBC chairman to allow strangers at a telling center? How many other Kenyans could pick a phone call and call Chebukati and say, we want to see you at Bomas, and Chebukati agrees to a meeting? Those are the fundamental questions Azimio is asking that let us not focus on the purported results of a conversation, of a meeting. How did that meeting materialize under the law? Is it that the Bukati made contact to these people and told them, come with some billions? When they failed to walk in with the billions that they were asked, then the results was done the way it was done. That is the question Azimio is asking. Under which law were strangers entertained twice? Under which circumstances were these people, if ever they were there, allowed? What stopped the commission from disclosing to the media that people have come here and this is what they have told us to do? This is information now coming up today to tarnish the coalition called Azimio. So we have made an application to be enjoined, among other issues, for us to raise those fundamental questions so that the chairman, Chebukati, tells us under which law did he allow strangers at the dead hours of midnight? Why couldn't he meet these people in public. Why could he didn't tell Kenyans that there are people requesting for me to have a meeting with them and I have allowed them? Why couldn't he call the media for that meeting? These are results coming out. These are discussions coming out after the results have been announced.